Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm here today with a fun tutorial. A couple of you have been asking for Bambi characters, and because it's Easter this Sunday, I thought it'd be fun to draw a bunny. <laughs> and when I mean bunny, I mean Thumper from Disney's classic Bambi. So let's go ahead and draw Thumper. The first thing I'd like to do is go ahead and draw that wonderful circle that starts off all of our drawings. What I'm going to try to do is make, make this nice and round up here. Bring this off to the side. I'm just going to keep that nice roundness. You see how I'm kind of like, but I want to bring this up and a little bit more poofier off to the side. So it's not exactly a circle, but it's just like a weird looking, looks like a putty ball right now. But I'm bringing out this side and I'm bringing out this side nice and round to keep this nice and round up top. Okay, now let's go ahead and shape up a few things. Even though he's a bunny, I'm gonna go ahead and make that line that's going straight down the middle of his face to determine that we're doing a quarter view of Thumper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do his eye line right across here. In order to like start laying out Thumper's eyes, we have to shape up his body a little bit more. Not his body, his face. So I'm gonna bring down this side right here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and bring out this side. So this is the side of his face. So I can erase this. But the side of his face is gonna be brought out over here. After that, let's go ahead and lay out his eyes. So look, I'm gonna put one eye right here that's gonna kinda jump off to the side, all the way off to the side of his face. And then we're gonna jump over here on the same eye level as this one. We're gonna go ahead bring up this eye, bring up this side of his eye, and then jump down and bring down this side. Release, lay out his nose, so I'm gonna jump in the middle where these two marks meet and make that upside down rounded off triangle. After this, we're gonna go ahead and bring down this side of his little mouth, I guess I was about to say whiskers. That's where the whiskers would go. So we're gonna bring down this over here, bring this off to the side, and I'm gonna jump over here. Round this off. And this side's gonna overlap, and this one's gonna jump right inside, so this one overlaps over here. Jumps down right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring down the bottom half of his mouth. So we're gonna bring this down, round it off back inside. Then you're gonna jump in the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a little bit of these guidelines that are just kind of crowding. So I'm gonna jump in here where this where this spot is where these two cheeks meet. And go ahead and bring down that one little tooth. And then I'm gonna jump over here below it and make that tongue and then I'm gonna jump up back to over here in the corner. Bring this down. And then curve it right in. So you wanna make sure that you have both sides, but this looks dark because we have too many guidelines. Go ahead, straighten that up just a bit. There we go, that looks much better. We're gonna eventually, from over here, starting with this line underneath his eye, why we curved up is because we're gonna curve up, go into this little part of his, I don't know, I wanna say, I guess that's all hit just a part of his muzzle, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know bunny anatomy, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring this around and down, and eventually this part will meet up into here, and this part will meet up into here, and that's, one little cheek that represents his cute little dimple area. And then we're eventually going to come from over here. After this line, you're just gonna jump over here. Round this up. You're gonna round this up and then bring it down and it's gonna go underneath. So we're gonna keep that side completely the same. Of course, let's go ahead and finish his eyes. So I'm gonna jump up here I'm gonna give one pupil iris. I'm gonna make another pupil iris all the way off to this side as well. Now Thumper has a bit of thick 
He doesn't have eyelashes, but it's just a very thick eyelash line on top. So I'll make it nice and thick. And then bring this down. And then off to the side as well, you want to go ahead and make this a little bit thick. And nice. Off to the side of his eye. And you're going to circle around. Get a little bit close to the top of his head. And you're just going to go ahead and end up right on this side. Right where this, where his cheek and this other part of his cheek meet, this little line, that's where you're going to you're gonna go a little bit above that, connect, and then I'm gonna jump over here. But the first thing I wanna do is, this is still part of his nose. So from his little nose right here, you're going to make a line, and another line right here. And then from this line, it's gonna curve inward just a little bit. And then you're gonna go ahead, same length, on this side, you're gonna bring this little circle patch all the way off to the side and over here. Should be overlapping, so let me go ahead and erase this bit so you can see it a little bit better. This part should be overlapping this part. Another key thing you want to do is you do want to make the very tops of these circles above his eyes a little bit darker just because they are there to represent his eyebrows. So I'm just going to make it a little thicker on top. So then I'm going to jump inside of his pupil, make a little bit of a shine, and then give him his actual pupil right here. Go ahead and fill that in. And Thumper has brown eyes, and I'm gonna jump over here, give a little bit of a shine, give him his pupil. Above here, above this side of his cheek, kind of going up to here, and right about here, we're gonna make his first ear. So what you're going to do is you're just going to bring this up, not too tall, because he's still a baby. Bring it up just a little bit, and then curve inwards. Make this a little bit straight, but you want to curve this side of his ear. Bring this down, and then right about here, you're going to curve a little bit outwards, round it off. And then back down into his head, and that's his other ear on the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and start from on top of here, give a little bit of space, bring this down. And curve it. And then I'm going to jump right off to the side and curve back up into that part I just met, but this part will be overlapping the inside of this. And then what, you're, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead, from underneath the bottom of this ear, you're gonna start making his little fluffy, fluffy fluffs. <laughs> so it's gonna go out, in, bring this one down, And this one goes into his cheek, so we have a little fluffy here, a little bit of fluffy fluff, and then the, the other fluff, and it just goes into his cheek because he is a gray and a tan, and then he's got white on him in some places. I'm gonna make right about here, I'm gonna cut off the bottom of his mouth, round it off right here, bring this part down. Bring this part down, and then I'm going to jump a little bit to over here underneath his face. I'll make a little bit of a fluffy fluff here, and then we're going to just bring this in for right now. So after, after I make this part though, I want to go ahead and bring out this part. 
round it off. Bring this in. And then jump down below, making this thing how this one, this is line's going to start underneath this line. And then round it towards this direction. So these two, so this is his elbow, but it should look like it's connecting to his arm. Okay, from this poofy part of his chest, what you're going to do is you're just gonna go ahead and bring out the other side of his arm. We're gonna go past this a little bit. Round it down. Circle back up. And give him a wrist going this way. And then of course, you're just gonna go ahead and divide up his paws by giving two little lines. And let's make his chest a little poofier. So I'm gonna go ahead and give another little poofy section. And then this poofy section. Now what you're going to do from this part of his arm, you're gonna go ahead and bring down his back. Round it down. Jump below his elbow. Bring down just a little section here. And then you're gonna jump back. Round this down and connect to down and over here. You're gonna jump underneath this part of his wrist. Bring this down and round it into his leg. And then you're gonna just move over just a little bit. From this line, just move over a little bit, bring this out, and then curve it back inwards. This part of his thigh, bring out this foot, bring it out, and then bring it back in, tucked underneath his leg. Kind of jump right in the middle of this section Bring out this side, and then for his foot, you're gonna bring this out, and then back in because it's tucked underneath. And then you're gonna jump over here, and you're gonna bring out his middle toe just a little bit. Bring out this side, and bring out this side. And you're gonna chop off the top. You're gonna bring out this middle toe just a little bit. I kind of jump over here and, and, and like give a little indication that there is another toe over here. This toe, curve it back inwards, and then you're gonna bring down the top and make his foot, some of these guidelines so we can see his foot a little bit more. And then for his tail, you're just gonna go ahead and plop it right on the back. And we're gonna do a little poofy section here, a little poofy section here, and a poofy section, and a little bit of a poofy section, and then it goes right into his body. Another little thing you just wanna do is just to give him a little bit of a neck, so underneath his, his chin, you're gonna bring this out, just a line, and then you're gonna bring this down. And there you guys go. There's how to draw Thumper from Bambi. So I hope you all have a wonderful Easter. And yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and color him so you could see what's tan, what's white, and what's gray on Thumper. So yeah, and of course his little nose and his ears are pink and his tongue is pink and he's got brown eyes. But yeah, it's just a little, I know markings are difficult sometimes, especially on animals, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a clue to where, how to color Thumper. But yes, I hope you all have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye!